Mm -hmm. I like to call this meeting of the Maricopa County Planning and Zoning Commission to order for January 26, 2023. Uh, the first thing on the agenda is actually at my request, and I find an honor and a privilege to, I've wondered, I've served on this commission for four years now, and for some reason, unlike the Board of Supervisors, they do the Pledge of Allegiance prior to the start of the meeting, and every other board and commission I've served on has done that. We haven't done that, so it's my honor to lead in the Pledge of Allegiance. For those that wish to stand, uh, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, under God, one nation, liberty, and justice for all. All right, thank you all very much. I appreciate it. Uh, moving right along uh, to roll call, please. Chairman Slusher. Here. Vice Chair Mitchell. Here. Commissioner Arnett. Here. Commissioner Dan Zison. Commissioner Hernandez. Here. Commissioner Lauren. Here. Commissioner Lindblom. Commissioner McGee. Here. Commissioner Montoya. Commissioner Swart. Chairman, we have a quorum. All right, thank you. Uh, now for the uh, chairman's announcements, this meeting has been noticed in accordance with the open meeting law ARS 38-431. Agendas are available within 24 hours of each meeting in the Maricopa County Planning and Development Office and are also available on the planning and development website one week prior to the hearing at maricopa.gov slash planning. The staff reports prepared for each agenda item shall be a part of the permanent record for each case. With respect to the hearing process, cases will be considered in the order they appear on the agenda, unless otherwise agreed to by the commission. For each case, the applicant will be given a set amount of time to present. Anyone wishing to speak on a particular case shall fill out a speaker's card for in-person attendance to raise your or raise your hand within the go-to webinar. The amount of time allowed for speaking should be at the discretion of the commission chair. Staff will provide the chair with, <coughs> excuse me, the names and persons who have registered and noted desire to comment and those registered participants who have raised their hand. The chairman will call on each named participant one at a time. The chairman will conduct the hybrid in-person virtual public hearing according to the bylaws according to the rules established by the chairman regarding public comment. Votes will be done by roll call vote only. The chairman will verbally identify the specific members responsible for all motions and seconds. And with that, we're going to flip flop the agenda and go to agenda item number two, which is KC 2019-024, the Zara's small event venue, which the applicant has asked for this case to be continued. Darren? Yes, Mr. Chairman, uh, Z2019-024, uh, the, uh, the applicant's legal count, the property owner and special use permit applicant's legal counsel has requested a continuous to April 6th. Staff as the initiator of this action concurs. Therefore, I believe there's no action necessary of the commission. Okay, thank you. This item will be continued to the April 6th hearing. I'm moving backwards to item number one, case Z 2022-178, 101 in Northern Avenue. This is on consent. Darren? Yes, sir. Case Z 2022-178, known as 101 in Northern on District 4. It's a zone change to C2 CUPD for 3.4 acres east of the southeast corner of Northern and the Loop 101 freeway. There's no known opposition. The recommendation in <laughs> paragraph 21 is for approval subject to conditions A through I. A through I. So anybody from the commission that has questions for staff? Hearing none, is there anybody from the public in this auditorium that wishes to speak? Seeing none, David, is there anybody on the webinar wishing We're to speak? We're not aware of anyone online. All right, thank you. Do I have a motion? Yes, this is Commissioner Hernandez. Uh, a motion for case Z2022178 uh, to be approved as presented by staff. <laughs> okay, thank you, Commissioner Hernandez. I have a motion from to approve Commissioner Hernandez. Do I have a second? 
I'll second Commissioner McGee. We have a second from Commissioner McGee. Uh, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Arnett? Yes. Commissioner Hernandez? Yes. Commissioner Lawrence? Yes. Commissioner McGee? Yes. Vice Chair Mitchell? Yes. Chairman Slasher? Yes. Chairman, that's an approval by a vote of six to zero. All right, thank you. Motion approved unanimously. Are there any other matters? Uh, just to, to announce that the February 9th planning and zoning hearing is canceled. February 9th. Okay. Nothing else? No, sir. All right. Uh, I failed to congratulate Commissioner or Vice Chair Mitchell for his uh, volunteering and acting as our new Vice Chair So and for being a new father. So congratulations on both. Thank you very much. It's uh, it's already been a busy 2023, but uh, very excited for what the future holds and and for my new role on this on this commission and as a father. So, a lot of yeah. responsibility in both. <laughs> yep. Awesome. All right. Thank you, everyone. Meeting adjourned.